And welcome to your Gold Market Update charts of the day for Wednesday, the 17th of May, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. We saw a weak session on all the major indices in Wall Street overnight, even though they remain range bound. The lack of progress on the debt ceiling negotiations are weighing on sentiment to some degree. And we did have Home Depot, uh, ticker code HD, who are a Dow component, missing earnings expectations as well. So those dragged on the indices significantly. We are seeing some positive movement in the US futures this morning. Uh, Asian markets are mixed. The Nikkei is outperforming again with the ASX underperforming trading at around about half a percent to the downside. European futures are pointing to a cautious open. The VIX, however, is still below 19, which suggests that markets are irritated but not frantic about uh, where markets are right now. The US dollar index edged higher again, reversing the previous day's losses. It's pretty neutral in Asia today so far. As a result of that USD strength, we saw gold drop to retest 2000, trading slightly below that level in Asia today. If it does drop further, watch 1982 as a potential important level. A copper dropped again to test six month lows and all edged down a little bit as well, but it does seem to be holding it in Asia. Bitcoin is still precariously poised just above support at 27,000, as it has been for the last few days. Well worth keeping an eye on. And with US earnings almost complete, just a few of the big retailers to go. Japanese GDP beat expectations today and is the major reason why the Nikkei is positive. Later on, we've got some inflation data coming out of the Eurozone. The Bank of England governor speaking, being one of the more hawkish central banks on the planet at the moment. And of course, US housing data is out later again today. But really, the bottom line is debt ceiling negotiations will remain the major story over the next few days. A couple of charts that caught our interest today. Uh, we're going to start with looking at the Euro Yen. We'll look at the daily chart first of all. Uh, and you can see there we've pushed right up hard against this 148.28 level. And this looks very interesting. We did test it the last couple of days, but didn't manage to breach it. We're testing it again today. Let's take this to an hourly chart and see where that uh, level lies. And you can see that test this morning, just a pullback to revisit that resistance level. And so what it looks like really is potential area of interest around about this 148.50, just pulling it back on the hourly chart to some degree. If we breach this, then certainly a move up to 149. Could be possible, which is about a 50 pip move up from where we are now. Uh, after that, a very high probability trade if it breaches 149.25. On the ASX, we're revisiting zero again. You can see there we're pushing once again on this resistance level that just seems to be, as the name suggests, just a key level that this particular stock needs to break through at just under $94. You can see we've tested 94 in today's trading. With this level having been tested many times, as you can see, over the last few weeks, really since the beginning of April, if there is a breach of this level, we could see significant upside in this, possibly up towards that $100 level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.